Hi, my name is Firas and today I will be discussing the diagnostic imaging types and uses such as the conventional x-rays, mammograms, ultrasounds, CT scans and magnetic resonance imaging. The conventional x-ray uses a beam of electromagnetic waves and on the opposite side of the body, the x-rays are detected. It's the most usable type of medical imaging and the cheapest, and it includes dental imaging and mammograms. Basic, the usual use of x-rays, imaging to detect broken bones. It helps to detect pneumonia and the basic skeletal and tissues abnormalities, such as the masses and foreign bodies. Mammography is a specific type of breast imaging that uses low-dose x-rays to detect tumors and cancers. Digital mammography also uses x-rays, but the data is collected on computer instead of on a piece of film and has special accessories that allow only the breast to be exposed. In conventional film and digital mammography, a stationary X-ray tube captures an image from the side and an image from above the compressed breast. In breast tomosynthesis, the X-ray tube moves in an arc over the breast. CT scan is a computed tomography scan which uses computer-controlled X-rays to create 3D images of the body allowing the radiologist to tell how deep the tumor or the object is. Doctors request CT scans whenever conventional x-rays are not enough. Conventional CT scans take pictures of slices of the body, like slices of bread. These slices are a few millimeters apart. And major advantage of CT scan is its ability to image bone, soft tissue, and blood vessels all at the same time. MRI, the magnetic resonance imaging, uses radio waves in the presence of a strong magnetic field that surrounds the opening of the MRI machine, where the patient lies to get tissues to emit radio waves of their own. MRI images of the soft tissue structures of the body, such as the heart, liver and many other organs. It's more likely in some instances to identify and accurately characterize, characterize diseases and other imaging methods. Ultrasound imaging or sonography is a diagnostic medical procedure that uses high frequency sound waves to produce dynamic visual images of organs, tissues or blood flow inside the body. Ultrasound has been used in a variety of clinical settings, including obstetrics and gynecology, cardiology, and cancer detection. The main advantage of ultrasound is that certain structures can be observed without using radiation. The 3D ultrasound imaging is the latest advancement in the ultrasound technology. In addition to the conventional benefits of the obstetric ultrasound imaging, it allows the parents to see their babies in high quality colored images, such as the one at the bottom. Fluoroscopy is a study of moving body structures. It's similar to an X-ray movie. A continuous X-ray beam is passed through the body part being examined. The beam is transmitted to a TV-like monitor so that the body part and its motion can be seen in detail. Fluoroscopy is used in many types of examinations and procedures, such as barium x-rays for the intestines, as you can see here, cardiac catheterization, arthrography, which is visualization of joints, 
and uh, lumbar puncture as well. Nuclear imaging, PET scan, and it's a positron em emission tomography. It creates computerized images of chemical changes such as sugar metabolism that takes place in tissue. Typically, the patient is given an injection of a substance. It uses include, but, but not limited to, detect cancer and to assess whether cancer has spread to evaluate treatment effect and to detect if cancer has returned and to look for sites of infection of the heart and the brain diseases as well. Bone scan is a nuclear imaging procedure. In nuclear imaging, tiny amounts of radioactive materials or tracers are injected into a vein and taken up in varying amounts at different sites in the body. Areas of the body where cells and tissues are repairing themselves most actively take up the largest amounts of tracer. Bone scan can detect and detect the spread of cancer in the bones, as you can see here in the highlighted areas. In summary, overall, the uses of medical imaging expanded significantly in the last two decades and became a a must-have diagnostic tool. These images are a mix of conventional chest x-ray, like the one on the upper left, and brain MRI, and the whole body PET scan and ultrasound. Generally speaking, imaging by itself is not a treatment, but can help in making better decisions about treatments, and the same imaging technique can help doctors find cancer, tell how far a cancer has spread, guide delivery of specific treatments or find out a treatment if, if it's working. The cost of medical imaging varies significantly. A regular x-ray would cost 40 to 80 dollars. Ultrasound costs around 500 dollars. CT scan from 595 to 1100 dollars and MRI from 895 to 2450 dollars. Thank you for watching.